There's a possibility in the software to create wall surfaces, I mean wall structures together with uh, tiling structures. Should that be an internal tiling or an external uh, covering of the wall surface, perhaps uh, stone uh, panels or other sort of panels with supporting uh, background framing. And now I'm going to show you how you can do that. Now let me show you first what we will create. I actually already have this structure so I will just re re remove this one and I will just use the wall tool from the building tool set and I will just uh, create that wall. And I will just refer to this point because this is where I would like to place it uh, from this point to this point. So as you can see uh, in one step I could create uh, the wall structure uh, together with an extra layer that hosts the fastener, horizontal and vertical supporting framing and also the panels and we can show uh, we can see the panels also in the 3D uh, this is uh, a, a detailed structure that you can easily tell if you hover over your mouse and see this blue highlight appearing. So let's see how this was uh, created. Let me just go back to I have my previous views. And then let me just remove this uh, for a short while and let's just see how this uh, is created. Now there are two things that I need to uh, take care of. One is the tiling and the other one is the wall. Now first let me just show you how you can create a complex styling system that is based on the background supporting framing and also by, uh, featuring uh, the, the surface panels that you just saw uh, in the 3D. So now I'm going to go and find the tiling tool set here in the software and I just uh, click on the uh, properties and I will just uh, select this and let's just see how this was created. Now. For the sake of this uh, demonstration I have created something uh, made of large uh, brown uh, panels, uh, perhaps uh, made of uh, wooden uh, or some, some sort of composite material and also I have a horizontal bar system here, a vertical supporting system and the fastener. So those are all the things that you can see here. Uh, let's just start uh, from the outside. Now the this one here and for the sake of this demonstration let me just uh, disable the visibility of all of those and let's just click on redraw so we can uh, go from outside to the inside and un understand how this works. Now this first layer here is made of this uh, RAL8007 foam brown uh, material uh, which is a tiling actually and it has a, a specific setting for this which is the size of this material and that is uh, set up here with the width and the height. Uh, for this, this specific uh, tiling I use this uh, size but you can use any of your, uh, your uh, different settings if you want and also you can just go with, uh, with the rectangular uh, tiling but you can also use objects and so on which I will talk about uh, soon because for the rest of the uh, tiling details we, we are going to need it. Uh, so I actually created the thickness for this and I uh, removed uh, this to the from the surface. I elevated the, it from the surface with the same uh, same thickness. So it's actually uh, touching the surface, the, the original external surface of this wall. I also uh, can create tiling grout if I want. Well, in this specific case I don't want to see uh, a, a grout appearing but should there be any sort of small amount like one millimeter or so uh, you can set it up here and then we can update and you will see the changes here. Now this is all I needed for the distribution of the tiles and this is uh, what we can see here. And from uh, the second point what I've created is the horizontal bar system, the horizontal railing system which actually supports um, these uh, these tiles. Uh, the, st the tiles are kind of hanging on those uh, railings. So let me just show you how that works. Now here I have something uh, called U-Profile uh, Horizontal. So when I click here I can show you that this is actually an object that I have created previously. So just as I told you you can tile with objects and in this specific case we are using these objects uh, for distributing the, those railing parts. Uh, those uh, objects are something that you can go into the libraries and, and select and change their width, the height and the depth of this object. And once you're done you can uh, set up the distribution rules how they will, uh, distribute it, will be distributed here. Now uh, in this specific case the tile grout 
is something similar just as we talked about that before but in this case this is the distance between the horizontal bars and as it was set to zero there is no distance between the uh, horizontal uh, bars uh, following each other now the vertical distance here we can say like that is the uh, vertical center line distance it is set to uh, the same pattern as the stone uh, panel size but it is shifted and I will show you how you can shift that but for this uh, detail uh, this is enough so we have the object we have the tag route and we can also set up how it is shifted from the surface either in inside inwards to the, to the towards the building uh, which uh, which is a negative value or you can set it up to zero or a positive value which is going to be uh, um, an external direction so this is it uh, I'm going to hit OK and then uh, set up the visibility of this one and click on redraw so now we have this what makes this uh, bar appearing here exactly uh, that is actually something that you can find as the elevation now if the elevation is set to let me just change it to 900 and click on redraw see it's 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 going downwards let me just uh, change it again so you can easily tell how that changes see it's it's going uh downwards and so now it's measured from the bottom so i have set up a value of a thousand because this is uh sorry it should be a thousand so because this is where it uh, should be and then uh the software will solve the rest of the math and then I'm going to set up the vertical uh, pro profiles as well. Now, the vertical profiles are the ones behind these bars. So let me just go here and set up the properties of those. And this is what you can uh, set up similar to the horizontals. But in this case, uh, you will perhaps select a different object. This is something called U profile vertical. And it has uh, its certain uh, width and height uh, and also the depth. This, this is how it looks like. And in this specific case, I don't have the vertical uh, tag route set, uh, which is actually zero. So that means they are on top of, top of each other, uh, following each other. Now there is another setting, which is the uh, tag route. Now this is, in this case, is the horizontal distance between the items. If that would be zero, they would uh, completely uh, snap to each other. Uh, but as it is set to a different value, they keep the distance here uh, in the 3D and on the 2D layout as well. And also I have an option to set up the, uh, the, the vertical, I mean the uh, perpendicular distance uh, towards the wall, wall surface. So now this is going to be minus 50 millimeter towards the, to the internal uh, structure. Okay, so let's just hit OK, hit uh, turn on the visibility, redraw. And then now you uh, may already think uh, how I solved uh, the uh, situation of the fasteners so I'm just going to turn on their visibility so we can see that the only difference with these between these and the uh, railings themselves that they are a different object as you can see this object is uh, um, a fastener object that was that can be either, either uh, modeled in the software or downloaded from some other place and then the distribution rules are the same here I did not set up anything uh, different. There is a horizontal and a vertical distance, and I also have this uh, grout depth uh, enabled, which is shifting the object towards the wall surface uh, in, in towards uh, the building uh, 100 millimeters. So this is how it is distributed. So uh, this is it. Uh, and whatever I've created here, I can also shift on this layout. So let me show you if I just select this vertical profile and I just zero this out and I just tell, okay, this is zero redraw it then it 100% uh, uh, folds uh, to the left hand side of this surface and if I uh, type a different value like shift horizontal 200 and I click on redraw then it will shift this uh, structure completely with the uh, rest of its distribution uh, on this wall surface and that 200 millimeters from the left hand side everything that you saw here is something that you can store in a style this is what I've done uh, and this is a uh, crucial point because uh, once you save this into a style, you will be able to select this as a property of a wall. So now it's important that I have saved this as a brown external panels. And then uh, from that point on, I can go to the building. Uh, I can uh, click here, right click here and property. And I can go here and set up the uh, wall uh, layers 
uh, create something for this uh, for this decoration for the panels and the railing system as well there is a layer but this is not the one that is actually representing the uh, the tiling the option that represents the tiling that I've created previously is this one. You can enable tiling on the interior side or the internal side and the exterior side as well by just simply enable or disable this uh, option. And then you can select the proper uh, tiling or the proper uh, panel distribution that you have saved into a tiling style. And then once you are done with that, you can uh, also, I'm um, sorry, I just forgot to show you that, you can also save this complete structure together with the, uh, with the compound wall settings and together with the tiling into a wall structure as well, uh, which I did previously, and this is the name of it. It's a 380 millimeter external wall with panel covering. So this is what I did here. And in the end, this is how I create this wall surface. So let me just show you it again. Uh, I just click here and I just create the wall and I have my uh, style selected here with the proper settings. And then now what I need to do is just to start drawing this wall, creating it from one point to the other. And then now I have a complex wall structure with layers and also with uh, tiling or panels uh, ins inside or outside the building, uh, whichever option will go the same way.